really nice and warm in the school. And uh, yeah, thank you for everyone who let me vlog the high school. That was so cool to reminisce. Looks like it's a bright day outside. Sun's reflecting off the snow. I'm about to go outside and get nostalgic. Let's do it. What's up, guys? We're at my old high school in upstate New York, a small town called Wheatsport. Weird name, I know. And uh, right here is something called Science Hill. We used to climb up this in the winter, play basketball in the spring, the court right here. And uh, yeah, good memories, good times, making fun of uh, the not so effective climbers. <laughs> Some of my friends were like mountain lions or mountain goats. They could just climb up there, no problem. Got the baseball field over here covered in snow. Beautiful. Wow, blue skies for New York today. Check that out. That doesn't happen all the time, so I'm pumped about that. Dang, I am cold, but it's actually reasonable right now. Definitely reasonable. Over here, we got the school and super deep snow. Check this out. Holy guacamole. Finally putting the selfie stick for good use. This is cool. I'm not sure if this was actually here last time I was here. A lot has probably changed and a lot of it hasn't. I used to run cross country, so we'd run like five or six miles a day throughout this area. It's pretty fun. School looks exactly the same to me. It's kind of beautiful in a way. I'm happy I'm here filming this. Feeling the nostalgia set in. It's very cool. Hmm. Just flicked the phone, that was interesting. Crunch, crunch, crunch. I'm take this off. Wow. My hair looks probably having a crazy hair day, but uh it's all good. Man, so many memories. I'm 31 years old right now. I graduated from high school when I was 17 years old. Little old sport in New York. I'm pretty proud of myself though. I went on to do some pretty cool things, made some major mistakes, but had some major successes along the way. I'm pretty pumped. I now live 9,000 miles away in the Philippines, which is about as far as you can get from this place, literally. Travel throughout the world, over 10 countries so far, I think over 12. In the future, maybe over 50, then maybe over 100 countries. Ah, yeah, traveler. But uh, now nah, that'll be cool. Made lots of money, lost lots of money. And I'm all back here, right to where it all started, right to where I grew up. Playing sports, chasing girls, playing video games. Try not to freeze our butt off, which we were unsuccessful because it's so cold in New York this time of year. But uh, yeah, gosh, it's beautiful. Check this out, guys. I just zoom like this. Wow. It's beautiful. I'm gonna walk over there towards the track and see what that looks like, if it's changed at all. God, it's not a bad place to grow up though. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't have that much I can complain about, but uh, Gotta keep it real, put the hood back up. Check that out, that's beautiful. Wow, looks like there's a spaceship coming out of a cloud. Maybe it is. Let's go all conspiracy, you know? But uh, yeah, the weather is extremely reasonable today for an vlog, outdoor vlog. It's very beautiful here. So I cannot complain, I cannot. I don't really know how much I made. I forgot, it's a lot. That, never mind what I got. Okay, I'll stop singing Drake too. I'm ruining the, uh, the moment here. Now, but New York's not beautiful. Not not beautiful. Double opposite. It's a clever way of saying it. it is pretty beautiful here today. Especially when you have the blue skies. I gotta tell you though, that wind chill is a real deal. My fingers effectively turning into stone right now. It's so cold. I don't have that much meat on my hands either. Wish I did. Got some bony hands, man. Bone and a little bit of muscle right there. Enough to carry around this 75, 76 kilo body. Nah, that's all baby. It's those pull-ups. Woo! Yeah, I'm trying to think of some stories I can tell you that are awesome. My buddies, I was on the cross-country team. I, and when I was really young, I did uh, baseball and basketball. I don't know what that is. Probably like an alarm or something. I'm probably trespassing. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Hey, hey I have a little night. Maybe be. But uh, anyways, back to what I was saying before. I did lots of sports. So my mom had me in bowling, karate. I was on the swim team at one point. I was on the basketball team at one point when I was young. I was on the baseball team, track and field. Played the video games we had too because it was so cold. It's hard to stay 
I had to go outdoors. I mean, obviously we could dress up and go outdoors and stuff. And uh, yeah, I hear some noises. I think I'm being watched. I probably am, it's all good. Putting this place on the map though, maybe some people watch this video and check it out. This is where I grew up. I haven't been here in ages. It's been like 10 or 11 years since I've looked at this field right here. Crazy. Wow. We sport warriors, man. I'm a warrior right now, I'll tell you that. It's a winter warrior because it's so freaking cold out. They recently redid the gym here and uh, it's actually right here. If I'm not mistaken, that's where I remember it being. And uh, I'll definitely use it. I think it was like $3 for single use, $10 a month. Hours are a little weird, but that's because it's built into a school, right? But it's really close proximity to where I'm currently staying, so. So many football games here that a concession stand like right here that uh just get some hot dogs and hamburgers it was tight it's really cool you can walk this way and see if uh what we got i wonder if anyone's actually here I, I would love to go into the school i doubt i can get in just randomly but you never know you never know just like what are you doing ah, i'm just following a youtube vlog holy cow that wind is so cold that's so cold so right up here that's where I had my science class in sixth grade. That was pretty cool. And uh, right there we used to hang out when we were at the football games, my friends and I, and uh, all the cool kids would collect in various places. If you were cool, you would be, yeah, you'd be, you'd be scattered. I don't know, you'd be with the cool kids, I don't know. There were, there, some people would be showing on the bleachers or right down there. Man, good times. I was never on the football team. I don't know why, I just, uh, I don't have a reason. There were so many good sports to choose from. I feel like a lot of my friends were on different sports, so I just did different sports. But I had a ton of friends on the football team as well. I had a lot of good friends on the football team. Yeah. That's cool. It's cool. My dad wasn't on the football team either, but my uncle was. And uh, my cousin was on the football team. He was really good. I had some really, really talented friends uh, for sports. Some of my friends were freakishly good at things like long jump and track and hurdles and football and basketball and baseball and some freakishly talented friends i was okay at running i was one of the slower guys on the team and i wasn't slow it's just everyone else was really fast <laughs> that's, that's what i'll say i could run 3.1 miles up and down hills outside in about 20 minutes or less which isn't that good i could do it. I, I i had some times where i could do it in about 19 19 minutes 30 seconds but these guys are doing 18 minutes, 17 minutes, 16 minutes, 15 minutes, crazy fast, man. I think today, my current mindset, I could get myself to do it a lot faster, but I don't think that has anything to do with me. Maybe it's just the automatic, automated, automatic beeping thing. So, holy cow, my left hand is so cold to turn this bad boy around. Let's see if we can actually go into school. That'd be cool. I remember good members right here in PE class going out and playing kickball or baseball or something. Pretty sweet. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, just so many good times. So many good memories. I haven't really connected with any of my friends in like a long time. I probably could. Probably should. A lot of people are still in New York. So I could definitely see what they're about, what they're doing, what they're up to. But I just couldn't convince myself this day here. Like, I think I left New York when I was 20 or 21. 21, went to Arizona and then other countries from there on out. Now I'm in the Philippines. Honestly, can't wait to go back, but gotta definitely prioritize spending time with family and friends. So, you know how it goes. Time flies. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was looking at my yearbook before a couple days ago. My friends were like writing down stuff that I used to say in high school. Apparently I used to rap a lot and sing a lot, like Lil Wayne and Eminem and uh, yeah, they kept putting that in the yearbook. I tried to be funny in high school. I definitely was funny. You get around a certain audience and then you see a different side of yourself come out. So if I put myself around my old high school buddies, like a total, totally different side of myself come out. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. Uh, my gosh. Oh. Hand is about to fall off. Whew. I bring this. I'm gonna see if I can go into school. I don't have my hopes up, but we'll see. Alrighty, let's do this. I got the keys. Let's see here. 
All right, guys, we're actually inside the school. I was able to talk to some of the staff here and they let me in. So it's time to reminisce and get super nostalgic. Holy cow, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Here we go, we got the cafeteria. Oh my goodness, everything's so small compared to what I remember naturally, right? Holy cow, I used to sit right there, right freaking there, oh my goodness, that's crazy. This is gonna be crazy, crazy, crazy. Wow. So, let me see, so we're walking in right here. Oh my goodness, man. It's nuts. I used to get the, uh, they have meatball subs, pulled pork. They had these rib, which were so good. They had the best chocolate chip cookies here. It was out of control. They had like these mushy centers. They're so thin and they were just incredible. I haven't had one like that since, to be honest with you. All right, we're gonna walk to the middle school section first right here. Let's turn the camera around. Oh my goodness. This was the new wing that they had built. Sorry if the camera's rocking all over the place. Nuts. I remember so many things. Mr. Arazda, Mr. Schumer. What else do I recall? What girls did I have a crush on when I was 13? I can probably think of something. <laughs> this is this is so funny. I wonder if I can recall what locker I had. My locker was actually like back that way. We have to check it out. Oh my gosh, this is crazy being here. This school is so much smaller. I think I'm taller than when I graduated when I was 17 because everything feels small to me, like the ceilings and everything. And everything's pretty much been like replaced and new. They've got like new lockers and stuff here. New, some of the tiles been replaced. <laughs> That's new. I don't or that or I just never observed it before. But <laughs> man, 12 years has been at least since I graduated. If I'm doing the math correctly. Wow, I still can't believe I'm in here. So as I think of some interesting stories, I'll definitely share these with you. But this is where I grew up. United States, living 9,000 miles away now. They have a, oh, that was there before. Man, it's been so long. Wow. It's like a vending machine with a Pepsi thing on the side. It's crazy. All right, we're gonna go this way. I'm gonna find my old locker. Let's do this. It's gonna be sweet. Whoa, this is crazy. Okay, it was either this room right here. Yeah, it was this room right here. I had an English with Miss Padula before she got married. That's crazy. All right, which locker did I have? It was like, yeah, you know what? Let me just let my instincts take over. It was like, it was literally like, uh, oh man, it was, it was, uh, so one year I think I had one of these two right here before they were replaced. And then I think another year I had, what was it just? Yes, I think it was 183 or 182. One of those for sure. That's awesome. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay. So this class I had English with Mrs. Weston. And uh, obviously I had communications class as well. And right here uh, I had English as well in sixth grade with Mr. O'Kane or Mr. Kane, I think his name was. He was also the sixth grade basketball teacher. Oh man, this is crazy. I can't even believe I'm here right now. So downstairs is the gym. I'm gonna see if I can check that out real quick. So that would be sweet. Just do that. I don't think it's open right now, but uh, Oh, wave to the security cameras at you guys. I think it's probably locked, so. Okay, it's not. Oh, that's actually not where the gym is, so I'll just kind of backtrack. I guess the gym is in a new location. All right. That's not it. Let's run. Run around up here. Kind of pivot this way. I'm actually about to go up the stairs and, uh, Man, this is crazy. Yeah, I'm so much bigger now. I feel so much taller. I have to skip, I can skip like three steps at a time, no problem. I feel like, I don't know. I wonder how tall I was in high school. That's interesting. Wow, this is crazy. It's a whole new flavor. So this is our high school hallway right here. And, uh, oh, check that out. I don't know if they had those natural light resets That's right there. That's cool. <sighs> That's interesting. Yeah, so because my last name started with an S, as in Spencer, I think I had very similar lockers on here when I was a freshman. Holy cow. It's crazy. Ah, uh, yep, I remember I had science, chemistry, and chemistry right there with a woman who worked at Anheuser-Busch, the Budweiser company, simultaneously, the second job. Uh, 
libraries right here. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. What the heck? Wow. Crazy, man. How cool is this? It looks exactly the same, except obviously they rearranged some things. Man, that's cool. This is crazy. <laughs> crazy. I remember doing baseball practice in the basement of this place. They had like, like a batting cage down there, some nets. Got the bathrooms. The bathrooms look fresh. I think they freshened up the bathrooms. Mr. Graziano still teaches math? Is that guy immortal? Oh my goodness, he was here. Well, I mean, it's only been 12 years, but that's crazy. He still has the same room. I remember he taught me math as well. I'll be honest, I was not very good at math B. Man, it was, it was so lame. Some of it's kind of dark in here, so I don't know how well you can see me, but uh, I have some good friends. Mr. Carr still teaches math. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Mr. Cor there goes the lights. Mr. Corbin still teaching math. Those are all my math teachers, Mr. Corbin, Mr. Graziano, Mr. Carr. Mr. Carr coached basketball, I think seventh grade when I was on the team. Mrs. Izzo is still teaching science. Mr. Hayes teaching English. Oh my God, that was crazy. These were all my teachers 12 years ago. That's awesome. Wow. That's awesome. Mr. Seward, I remember him. He, I remember he broke up a fight with my cousin was fighting somebody in the hallway back there. My cousin got in a fight with a guy. But I know his name, I'm not gonna say it though. Wow. So right here I had computer class. And uh, down here I had uh, finance class, I think one time, and I was learning French at one time. And uh, man, this is the computer class right here. That's where I learned how to type 50 words a minute. Oh my God, they have new IMAX? How about that? They have like the new 2021 IMAX in there. How about that? If I saw that correctly, that's cool. Oh man. How freaking cool, man. Uh, I remember there was a, I remember, I don't know if I should say it, but <laughs> it's a funny story. We had uh, two French teachers who worked here. One was an older man, I'll just turn the camera on. And one was an older man, one was a younger woman. <laughs> I, know their I know their names too. And they, they taught right here and right here. And then one day they just left the town and got married. I think they moved abroad to like Europe or something. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Wow. Huh. That's crazy. I keep repeating myself, but I haven't been here in 12 years. So to me, it's awesome. I'm gonna go this way and we're gonna see what we can find over here. Oh, wow. Man, math was tricky, man. Math A, I did all right. I think I was just way more interested in, see, when I was in high school, all the cool kids did not care about their grades, so. I think I got influenced by that. I think I deliberately tried not to have the best grades, honestly, because I had good friends that were really good grades, but I had other, I think like the coolest, most popular kids did not have good grades on purpose. You know, they had like 70s, you know, C's, D's, just barely passing. So I think I kind of was influenced by that. When I got to college, before I dropped out, I was in college for two years. Uh, my girlfriend at the time was really into high grades and she thought it was unattractive if you were, didn't have good grades. So what I would do is, in college, I ended up really focusing on getting my grades up, and I did. Um, I had like high 80s, even though the point system there was, you need to get a 90 to get a 4.0. And if you get an 89, it still get a 3.0. There was no plus or minus system in RIT when I was there. So it kind of stinks. So I was getting like high uh, 80s in most of my classes, just barely missing the 4.0 qualification. And I was getting average three, three point in there. So, but if I had the plus minus system, I think I would have had like a three two or a three four whatever uh, mid eighties are in college. In high school, it was the same though. Um, my, my, my overall GPA or my average here was 86. When you average all classes together, I had 86. So I wasn't a super you know, book smart kid or anything like that. I think if I applied myself, I could have been for sure. No problemo. I got the mind for it for sure. I can pick up stuff pretty quick if, if it's interesting to me and if I'm motivated. <laughs> You know, if you told my 17 year old self, like you, if you get a 95 GPA, you can date the hottest girl in the high school, I would have had a 95 GPA for sure. For sure. I was, I was motivated by, you know, acceptance, want to be, you know, and I didn't want, I didn't need to be popular. I just want to be accepted. I wanted validation. I wanted friends. And uh, yeah, of course, when you're, when you're young in high school, you care about the girls. You're like, oh man, that's like the thing. I mean, not much has changed. I'm still exactly the same. That's what motivates me more than anything else. My girlfriend. <laughs> My girlfriend Mia over in the Philippines waiting for me to get back. But uh, 
yeah, it's crazy. How much has changed? I'll do way more for others than I will for myself generally. That's good. I play those mind games with myself all the time to get motivated. Like if someone else needs help, I'll definitely be more motivated because uh, I was, I'm, I'm good. Mr. I wonder if he's still, I remember I was in a high school play called uh, Damn Yankees, I believe it's called. I might be missing a word in there, but I think it's called Damn Yankees. <laughs> That's funny. So about to walk down this hallway. I was on the swim team and modified and a couple years in high school. So I was on the swim team for four or five years. Um, let's see, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh. Yeah, quite a few years. Let's check out the, the pool real quick. Can't really see too much of it through the door, but I can see quite a bit of my, oh wow, there's some new stuff. That's pretty cool. I wonder if the records are still the same. I apologize if the lens got all foggy there. Maybe I can find another vantage point. <laughs> They're waxing the gym right now, so I probably can't go through there. But uh, yeah, I bumped into the, the previous high school principal. I think he, he probably went up the ladder or something, got promoted or took a different job, but he was still here. He was very nice to me, so thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Uh, helping me see if I could uh, vlog today. I wonder if the um, uh, locker room door looks new. It'd be funny if I went in there. Talk about reminiscing. Oh, you know what? They might have practice right now. Oh, actually, nobody's in here. I wonder if this is open. Yeah, I think it's locked right now, which is totally fine. Did they take down? No, they still have the records. I'm just checking out the records. Sorry, camera was all over the place there for a second. I apologize. But, uh, nah, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, they redid the gym. They have, or they pulled. They have, like, a brick up there now. You can't really see it too, too well in the camera. You can kind of get a vantage point right there. But, uh, yeah. Man. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. I wish I could check out the basketball court. They probably redid that as well. I wonder where the new gym is at. Let's figure that out. Man. Wow. What an experience. What a trip. What a trip, man. Trip down memory lane. That's nuts. I still, for some time, I can't believe 12 years has passed already, but at the same time, I can kind of believe it, but it blows my mind. All right, all right, I'm gonna shut off the camera real quick, and then I'm gonna see if there's any other places I wanna check out here. Oh, check this out. I wonder if, uh, let's look at these trophies for a second. <laughs> That's interesting. I know, our school was really good at sports for our division. And we had, uh, uh, you can see sectional champions for swimming and diving 2020, that's cool, class C. But uh, actually in fifth grade, our, I remember vividly in fifth grade when we were all like, me and my friends were like, my friends and I were like, uh, what we were 10, 11? We won like the entire basketball tournament for CCYO, that was so cool. That was so cool being a part of a team that won that. <laughs> our team had so much talent on there. My goodness. Oh, man. Good times. All right. Let's see what else we got to check out. I don't think I'm going to wander too much downstairs or in the gym, but you never know. Maybe I'll get weird and do that. So we'll see what happens. Got the uh, stage in there for plays. But yeah, more or less, it looks almost exactly the same as I remember it. Okay. Back outside. It was really nice and warm in the school. And uh, yeah, thank you for everyone who let me vlog the high school. That was so cool to reminisce and experience the uh, nostalgia of coming back somewhere you haven't been to in so long like what 12 years is crazy i've been as far as you can get from this place 9,000 miles you can't get farther i don't think unless you probably go to the moon that's about as far as you can get from Weedsport. but this is so so uh i love knowing where i came from i'm just so grateful that uh i've been able to travel so much i guess so i have so much contrast now for the world the countries and living in arizona living uh outside the u.s any takeaways, bro? Any takeaways, man? Nah, but for real, this is, I'm so lucky to have been born here. It's a very beautiful community. I had a great upbringing. I had great friends. I had great experiences. I had so much fun with sports. And uh, <laughs> there were lots of cute girls in the high school. Not much to complain about. I'm so grateful to be with the woman I am with now in Philippines and Manila. I'm the lucky man. And i um, very happy. Look at how beautiful this is. I'm gonna have to show you that. Wow. I'll just zoom in a little bit. It's not bad. Sometimes in my own mind, I know that I kind of think about this place differently, but there's a lot of beauty here. I can't stay here because of my personality type. I need to be exploring and challenging myself. 
and uh, experiencing new things because that's just in my DNA. But I gotta be honest, this was really fun coming here. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog. 80% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel, 20% are. Thank you if you are one of the 20%. If you wanna become a 20%er, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you like the video. And uh, yeah, stay safe out there. Do good. I'll catch you on the later vlogs. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.